Hey everyone, it's Suzanne Harper, and today I'm excited to show you my new 2025 Nissan Kicks SR. I've had the car for about a week and a half. Um, I'm still trying to get used to all the new safety features and um, those types of things. So I'm going to do a review from the point of view of a female consumer and also answer a question for you. Is this car a good retirement car? You might be surprised. Um, I'm going to show you what I like and what I don't like about the car. So hey, come along, let's go. Okay, and here we go. This is the 2025 Nissan Kicks SR. And this is a front wheel drive car. Um, I didn't get the all wheel drive because I didn't feel it was necessary uh, where I live. These are the 19 inch alloy wheels which are really sharp looking. This is the car from the back end. We bought the car from Planet Nissan in Las Vegas and uh, had a very nice buying experience. My salesman's name was Alan. So if you live in Las Vegas and you're looking for a new Nissan, go see Alan and tell him Suzanne Harper sent you. I don't know if you can see this, but this gunmetal metallic is just beautiful in the sun. It sparkles. That's very appealing to the, the female buyer. Just, just want to put that out there. Here is a view of the interior. This is the sport interior, which I think is really sharp looking. This is uh, the zero gravity seats that Nissan is so famous for. These speakers in the headrests are the Bose speakers. They're in both headrests on both front seats. Okay, and I'm gonna get in because it's pretty hot out here. Hey everyone, uh, magically it's dark out. <laughs> uh, I wanted to come out at night and give you a view of the car, uh, what it's like in this car at night because one of my major beefs was that it was so dark in here. But um, here, let me start it. Uh, this is kind of cool. This fiber optic light runs all the way across the dash to the passenger side door. Uh, so that's really the only ambient lighting in this car except for the two screens. Um, so when I was driving um, at night, I kind of felt like I was driving a, in a cave. Uh, what I did was I added these uh, LED lights. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, but I'd ordered these on Amazon. They were not really expensive, like maybe $13.99. Uh, you just uh, plug plug these into your 12 volt outlet. So yeah, this is what the car looks like at night, and um, beautiful car. That's really futuristic looking, isn't it? That? that fiber optic light. I think it's cool. So, okay, uh, here's the moon roof. I had a lot of footage uh, recorded during the day in this car, but the AC was so loud, you couldn't even really hear what I was saying. So um, I just decided to come out here and do this filler material for the middle of my video. So, um, all right, there we go. And a couple other impressions I have of the car. Um, people, I read on the internet a lot, people are complaining about the horsepower. I think it's like 141 or something. Uh, our other car, which is a Nissan Maxima, has 300 horsepower. And honestly, I wasn't buying the car for something like the horsepower, to be honest with you. Uh, this car has 
just the pickup is just fine. Um, when you're going onto the expressway, yeah, you're going to exercise a little caution. You can't merge on like you can in a 300 horsepower uh, Nissan Maxima. I mean, you, you know, look out, here I come. No, it's not like that, but uh, the car is definitely not lacking. The ride to me... You can interrupt the voice prompt to give a command immediately by pushing the talk switch. Say phone or audio to see more the commands. The car is talking to me. You can interrupt the voice prompt to give a command immediately by pushing the talk switch. Say phone. Okay, so what just happened was the voice recognition feature of the car just came on and it was giving me instructions on how to, I guess, activate that feature and I really didn't want it. I mean, I'm not, not in the middle of my video, anyhow. Uh, but yeah, that's another feature which is great because then you have our hands-on driving. It's everything you can do uh, with voice activation. Um, as I was saying, I think I was saying, the ride in this car um, reminds me a lot of the 2007 Nissan Sentra that I had. It feels so much like that. And um, honestly, I loved that car. It was my, one of my favorite cars that I ever had. So um, if, you're, if, you, if you are a Sentra owner or have had a Sentra in the past, that will give you some idea of this ride. Um, just a note, I want to say something about the CVT transmission because that comes up on like every uh, YouTube video in comments. People are bad-mouthing uh, the Nissan CVT. Well, uh, I don't know much about transmissions, but I do know that my past two cars, and including this car, uh, were Nissans, and they all had CVT, and uh, hey, you know, it's nothing new. Um, my stepson drives a Lexus, and he's got a CVT transmission, so um, a lot of bad hype about it. I don't know why. I've never had any trouble with it, and uh, knock on wood, I guess. But I think um, Nissan has improved their CVTs, or at least that's what I've been reading. And one more thing I want to show you is the panoramic moonroof. I don't think I showed you that yet, but here it is. Opens like a window. This is the same moonroof we have in our Maxima. Okay, so I'm going to answer the question now. Would I recommend this? as a good retirement car and absolutely yes um the trouble i was having with the maxima is that it was a sedan and it's also like a sports car so it was getting to the point where it was just getting hard for me to get in and out of the car so um, my husband doesn't have any problem with it or if he does he doesn't care because he loves the car because it's so fast so <laughs> um I'm not going to have to worry about him sneaking off in my kicks. So yes, definitely, um, if you get a chance to take a test drive, um, do if you're in the market for a car. This is not a big SUV. I think they call it a um, subcompact SUV. And to me, the size is perfect. It's, it's not a small car by any means. Uh, so bear that in mind. But it's not gargantuan either. So um, I love it. The only other thing that I think is missing from this car is that it doesn't have an automatic uh, hatch release for the trunk. So when you open that up, it's a little bit heavy when you close it. When you open it, it's fine. Um, the other thing about the car is there's plenty of cargo space, um, but uh, they don't automatically give you a spare tire now. I don't know if you're aware of that. There's room for a spare tire, but I think Nissan was going to charge like $180 extra for a spare. I personally feel more secure having a spare, so um, I don't know if I'll buy one through Nissan. Maybe I'll get one from, you know, like Discount Tire, somebody like that. So, okay, that's it. This is my little review from a woman's perspective. My husband just backed out and is leaving. Uh, a, a woman's perspective of the Nissan Kicks. I love the car. Um, 
And if you're thinking of retiring and buying a new ride, go for it. This one will not 